be able to hear the igniters going. It'll be crack, 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 crack. And then they'll start spinning it up. So they'll go 12, then 36. It'll start spinning up pretty good. Um, you can watch you watch the um, turco or percent gauge. You'll see it slowly come up, spinning up, and then getting up to 10. Usually I light it off 12, 13%. I just usually I run it up a fair bit, and you sort of at one point you'll hear it, you know, sort of a slight puff. You see your EGT will start rising up, and then I usually start bringing it down just to catch up with the starter motor and everything like that. I don't want to overfuel it. If if you're not careful, you'll hear moo cow and stuff like that. And so you just yeah, got to watch sword. watch that. But as soon as you got it stabilised, got like. I usually sign the guys off at 30%. As soon as the engine's up to 30%, I just go like that. They're able to pull out the starter plug, pull out the igniters, clear away from you. Then I usually ramp it up to 40%, idling at 40%, and um, yeah, wait, looking around, make sure everything's all right. If someone gives me the go ahead, round it up a bit more to 50%, then I'm able to slowly move off the brake. The car's not moving very hard. It's not pushing you too hard. Uh, so you move up to where you're going to start your fire show. Someone will usually give you an indication, yep, you can start your fire show. I usually bring it up to 60%, then big fireball, another big one, and then depending on what you're doing, you, we've got enough fuel to do quite a lot of fireballs. Yeah, so then I'll br usually bring it up to 70%, then a couple of long ones, then you can do, you know, a bit of a tune, whatever. Then I usually ram it up to 80%, but you sort of constantly sort of want to be moving forward, yep. just so you're not damaging the track or anything like that. Yep. Get up to 80%, and it's usually a bit sharper. You can feel the car pushing on your foot, and you just, you know, get a feel for the brakes and everything and how the car's going. Ram it up to 90%, a couple of more hard hits. Yeah, they sharp ones. Yeah, they're, they're sharp quite, quite sharp. And just watching the track crew, making everyone so sure that everyone's right for you to go go up towards stage, then you, you know, usually you go into, initially you're going to be going into stage at 90% and sort of leaving it there, uh, so you're going into stage, your leg, you know, even though you're pushing hard on the brake and everything like that, you don't feel that it's tired, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so you go into start line, if you're going to go at launch at 90%, you just wait, watch to get into the stage beams, make sure your visor's down, and then, yeah, bring it up, second stage light, Waiting for that, then the tree, and then launch, and hand up, steering down the track, and then as you're going down the track, everything's all good, shut off, go on there. Oh, actually, yeah, when you launch, your foot essentially comes off the brakes yeah. fairly quickly, it just pushes straight through. So then your hands up on the parachute, going through the run, watching the peripheral vision for the finish line, shut it all down, and then, you know, if you want to, but yeah, you feel tug of this parachute, shutting down, everything's all good. It takes about a second to feel the tug, yeah. which is a long time when you're travelling at 250 mile an hour. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah but, so you um, actually launch at 90% or 100%? You, uh, well, it's just, it's, as you're going to be building up, it's pref preferable to be launching at 90%. Mm -hmm. um, and then, and when you as, you, yeah, as you get comfortable and get yourself in tune with the car and you know, yeah. you're know you not too going too hard, because that's some, where you're going to... Uh, some tracks won't hold it. Okay. 100%. Yeah. The car will be sliding. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. so, all right, that sounds fine. But yeah, it'll launch fine at 100%, easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everything like that. But um, yeah, yeah make sure, and you've got to keep your feet away from the brakes, you know, anything below. That's a big above. thing, as I explained earlier, when yeah. the car's moving, Don't touch keep the brakes. Your foot off the brake. Yeah. yeah. Uh, until it's, it shoots out and it's slowed down to about 100 miles an hour, then start gently. Yeah, you can start, I just usually just. You know, just slowly feed it on, no hard brakes. Yeah. Just just so you're not, not locking everything yeah, up. Yeah, you're not locking everything up. You're gonna feel for it. I mean if you have to go for the second shoot, just pop it and yeah.